Hi everyone, my name is Mark Hart, personal trainer at Habit Heart Fitness based in Eastbourne in Sussex. We have a private gym based at Eastbourne Dales Golf Club. We help men and women over 30 live happy and healthy lives. So uh, today's video, I'm going to show you just a little bit of um, T-spine rotation mobilisation. So we're trying to obviously get the back freely moving. So we don't, a lot of us tend to rotate through our lower back all the time. And what we're trying to do is get the lower back obviously nice and fixed and try and rotate through that mid spine, okay, without obviously using our lower back. So what we're going to do is just go for a couple of drills and use a lot of my clients and myself to help on my, my own flexibility. Um, using obviously some bodyweight exercises on the floor and standing up. So I'll just adjust the camera so you can see. Right, okay, so we're going to go on the floor first of all. And we're going to work on a bit of T-spine rotation. So all we're going to do here is just kneel down again. So kneel on the floor, all right? So what we're going to do is we're making sure that my heel of my front foot is in line with the back. So we're going to come down, hands are going to come inside. We're going to breathe in, come down underneath. Breathe out and rotate round. And just breathe, hold it at the top. Hold it at the top for 10 seconds. Then you breathe in, breathe out. Come round again a bit more. Come down nice and slow. This is really, really slow and controlled. So breathe in, breathe in out. Follow the pop there. Hold it, breathe in, breathe out. So we're trying to keep this really, really controlled. So breathing in. Get to the top, hold it, we can't go anymore. Breathe in again when it relaxes. Go around, breathe out. So I feel that really controlled. So you're trying to fix the lower back and rotate more through the middle. So we do that uh, both sides and do that really to fatigue. So this, you know, it might do a couple of times, you might muscles might sort of tighten up. Might start fatiguing in a little lot, um, so don't worry about that. You just work on that, and you know, so you get nice control moving all the way through. Um, and then once you get your ability better, you feel a lot better. Obviously, back a bit up to my mobile, and better gets tight around the shoulders. So repeat that both sides. So then, obviously, what we can do, we can do the kneeling. So from here, hands across the shoulders, we trap shoulder blades back, and then I rotate over my front knee, keeping my glute nice and tight, so the body doesn't sway side to side. And from here, breathing in, breathing out. Rotate that. So I'm fixing the lower back, I rotate through my upper back. Hold that, breathe in, come around a bit more, and then rotate again, back to centre. So again, what I'm trying to do is rotate more through the upper back, so the T spine is designed to rotate, and the lower back is designed to fix and load, obviously. So we're going to come in, shoulders pull back, I'm trying to rotate more through the upper back than the lower back, I'm trying to fix the hips. Breathe in, and you get stuck and try and build it a bit more each time. Again, this works to fatigue on this drill, but obviously once you get used to it, you've got to rotate a little bit more again, and it's very good for warm up, obviously if you're doing any back work. So mobility drills, you're going to do any exercises. So repeat that both sides. And what we need to do now is a kneel down. This one's quite strict, and it's, of course it depends on your hip flexors, how strong they are, how flexible through the hips, so you can bring your heels towards your bum and your quads, so things are long they are. So what we want to do is drop the heels down and relax the feet. Then we're going to come down, we're going to put our elbows against our knees. Okay, so what we want to do is, I'm going to show my left side, I'm going to keep my right elbow against my knee, and my right arm down. Left arm's going to come up, I'm going to put my hand, my fingers against the temple. What I'm going to do is rotate inwards, point the elbows together, breathe in, Breathe out, come round. You can see I'm quite fixed there at the minute. So I'm quite tight on my shoulders. So I'm going to breathe in again. This actually fixes the hip and we're making sure you're not blowing through the lower back. So rotating more through the upper back. And follow the hands, breathe out. Breathe in again. And breathe out. And come up. So when you get at the top, you get stuck, breathe in again. And then a bit more and force it. So breathing in and breathe out. Get stuck, hold it, breathe in, 
Breathe out. Come around a bit more. So again, just work to fatigue on that. That's quite exhausting little drill to do. So in between your exercises, if you're doing a back workout, for instance, in your rest, so your active rest, do these drills that will help you loosen the muscles up and get more range of movement when you're exercising. Again, repeat that both sides. So what we can do now is just like a, a downward dog, but we do a half dog. So I'm just going to use the frame here. So all we're going to do is hold this on the frame. We can do it against a door, a wall, you can use a chair, whatever you want to do. So we're going to lengthen down the back. So we're going to open up the back, open up the vertebrae. So we're going to push your hips behind me, lower down, stretch through our back. You should be able to just about see that in the camera. I'll come a bit higher. And the head's facing down. So it's quite a good stretch through the hips, pull down through the spine, the lats, through the hamstrings, and pushing your bum up behind you. So your chest is parallel to the floor and just hold that stretch. So once you've done that mobility work, then you can do also the flexibility through the spine and stretch through. Bring the chest down towards the floor. And again, just hold that for 30 seconds. It lengthens down the spine, it opens everything up. It's a lat, so it's nice and long. So we can do that standing up. Uh, you can do that slightly lower down on a stool and obviously a full downward dog on the floor. So that opens everything up ready for your workout. So you can do that in between, obviously, uh, sessions when you're doing your workouts. So if you're active when you're resting, do some active rest and flexibility work. Or you can do that on its own uh, at the end of your drill. Okay, so I hope that's helpful for you. So it's all to release tension through the middle of the back and get it back a lot more mobile for the T-spine. So if you're using on lower back all the time, and help us with a better posture as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for listening. Uh, please leave comments and likes on the page. Uh, sorry, on the video, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Cheers, guys.